Welcome to Today in Nerd History. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Home Soil, aired February 20th, 1988. In this episode on Valara 3, Geordi and Data discover a microscopic life form responsible for the death of an engineer stationed on the base. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Birthright, aired February 20th, 1993. In this episode, while visiting Deep Space Nine, a Uridian tells Worf his father lives, and a discharge from an alien device puts Data in a dream state where he meets his own father. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, Shadow Play, aired February 20th, 1994. In this episode, Odo and Dax investigate the mysterious disappearance of people from a village, and Kira tries to keep a close eye on Quark, while Vedic Burrell unexpectedly visits. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode of Profit Motive aired February 20th, 1995. In this episode, Grand Nagus Zek is acting bizarre by giving away money and rewriting the rules of acquisition. Quark attempts to get the old Nagus back. The Star Trek Voyager episode, Eye of the Needle, aired February 20th, 1995. In this episode, a small wormhole discovered by Harry Kim allows communication with a Romulan scientist back home and raises the crew's hopes of getting back to the Alpha Quadrant. The Star Trek Picard episode, Stardust City Rag, was released February 20th, 2020. In this episode, the La Serena crew began an unpredictable and lively expedition on FreeCloud to search for Bruce Maddox. When they learn Maddox has found himself in a precarious situation, a familiar face offers her assistance. Happy birthday, Peter Strauss, born February 20th, 1947. Peter Lawrence Strauss is an actor known for his roles in several TV miniseries in the 1970s and 1980s. Notably, he plays Abel Rosnowski in Cain and Abel. He won an Emmy Award for his role on the 1979 made-for-TV movie The Jericho Mile and he starred in a TV remake of the classic 1946 film Angel on My Shoulder in 1980. His other noted TV miniseries include Rich Man Poor Man and its sequel Rich Man Poor Man Book 2 and Masada. He played Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. in the 1977 TV movie Young Joe the Forgotten Kennedy. He starred in the movies Soldier Blue and Space Hunter Adventures in the Forbidden Zone and has appeared in several others. He voiced the character of Justin, Captain of the Guard, in the 1982 animated film The Secret of Nymph. He starred as an abused husband in the TV movie Men Don't Tell. He appears in Triple X, State of the Union. He was the voice of Moses in the animated series K-10C, Kids, Ten Commandments. He starred in the short-lived series Body and Soul as Dr. Isaac Braun in 2002. And he provided the voice of Stoker Van Rotten in both 1990s and the 2006 version of Biker Mice from Mars. Remembering Edward Albert Born February 20th, 1951, and passed away September 22nd, 2006. Edward 
Lawrence Albert, was the actor who played Zara in the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, A Man Alone. He was the son of beloved Green Acre star, Eddie Albert. Born in Los Angeles, California, he made his Hollywood debut at the age of 11 with a supporting role in the 1965 film, The Fool Killer. Seven years later, in only his second film, he was the lead actor opposite Goldie Hawn in the romantic comedy, Butterflies Are Free. He went on to have supporting roles in such movies as Midway, The Domino Principle, The Greek Tycoon, When Time Ran Out, and Guarding Tess. He also starred in the 1981 science fiction film Galaxy of Terror. He made guest appearances on Kung Fu, The Love Boat, Murder, She Wrote, Law and Order, and Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, among other TV shows. He was also a regular on Beauty and the Beast. In the late 1990s, he played Bennett Devlin on the soap opera Port Charles. He voiced the Silver Surfer in an episode of the animated Fantastic Four series. He also voiced Daredevil in the 1990s animated series of Spider-Man. And in 1998, he lent his voice to the series Invasion of America. He was seen in the role of Mr. Collins on the series Power Rangers Time Force. He died of lung cancer at the age of 55, less than 16 months after the death of his father. Remembering Brian James, born February 20th, 1945, and passed away August 7th, 1999. Brian Howard James was an actor known for playing the character of Leon Kowalski in Blade Runner and a variety of colorful roles in well-known movies such as Southern Comfort, 48 Hours, Another 48 Hours, Tango and Cash, Red Heat, the Player, and The Fifth Element. He also played on Galactica 1980 and Mork and Mindy. He was in more than 100 movies before he died of a heart attack at the age of 54. <music> Happy birthday, Anthony Head. Born February 20th, 1954. Anthony Stewart Head is an actor and musician who rose to fame as Rupert Giles in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He also played Uther Pendragon in Merlin, the Prime Minister in Little Britain, and Consul David Wheel, Chief Administrator of Vega, in the TV series Dominion. In 2001, he appeared in a special webcast version of Doctor Who, a story called Death Comes to Time in which he played the Time Lord, Valentine. He also guest starred in the Exiles trilogy, a series of Doctor Who audio adventures produced by Big Finish Productions, and in 2005 narrated the two-part documentary Project Who, detailing the TV revival of the Doctor Who series for BBC Radio 2. He played a school's alien headmaster, Mr. Finch, in the Doctor Who episode, School Reunion. Soon after, he recorded an abridged audiobook of the Doctor Who novel, The Nightmare of Black Island, by Mike Tucker. He narrated the third and fourth series of Doctor Who Confidential. He also voiced the character Baltazar, Scourge of the Universe, an evil space pirate searching for the infinite, in the first ever animated Doctor Who special, The Infinite Quest. Head had previously auditioned for the role of the 8th Doctor for the 1996 television movie, but lost out to Paul McGann. Remembering Richard Matheson, born February 20th, 1926, and passed away June 23rd, 2013. Richard Burton Matheson was a prolific and highly acclaimed science fiction writer who wrote the Star Trek original series episode, The Enemy Within. 
During his 55-year career of writing both literature and for the screen, he authored novels such as The Shrinking Man, filmed as The Incredible Shrinking Man, and I Am Legend, filmed as The Last Man on Earth, The Omega Man, and the 2007 version of I Am Legend. He was also responsible for 16 episodes of The Twilight Zone, including Nightmare at 20,000 Feet starring William Shatner, Third from the Sun, and Once Upon a Time. He also wrote the screenplay for Steven Spielberg's debut TV movie, Duel, and the Ray Bradbury miniseries, The Martian Chronicles. Apart from this, he wrote for many movie and TV shows, including The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, Thriller, and the new Outer Limits episode, First Anniversary. Remembering Patricia Smith, born February 20th, 1930, and passed away January 2nd, 2011. Patricia Smith LaSalle was the actress who played Dr. Sarah Kingsley in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Unnatural Selection. Her first TV appearance came in a 1953 episode of Kraft Television Theater. She has since made guest appearances on such TV shows as Studio One, The Twilight Zone, My Favorite Martian, Mission Impossible, and Quincy. She would also become a regular performer on The Debbie Reynolds Show and The Bob Newhart Show. In 1974, she made an uncredited appearance in the unsold pilot for Gene Roddenberry's proposed series, Planet Earth. She also had a role in the epic 1979 miniseries Roots, The Next Generations. She also has a few movies to her credit, most notably The Spirit of St. Louis, Save the Tiger, and Mad City. She appeared as a candy-eating murderer in an episode of Perry Mason, entitled The Case of the Candy Queen, although, ironically, she was actually a diabetic. Remembering Marge Doucet, born February 20th, 1936, and passed away January 29th, 2020. Marjorie Ellen Pavanka Mahoney, best known as Marge Doucet, is the actress who played Kara in the Star Trek episode Spock's Brain. She is widely known for playing Alexandra Spaulding on the soap opera Guiding Light. She also had a small part in Galactica 1980. Get Smart, and Hogan's Heroes. Remembering Willie Garson, born February 20th, 1964, and passed away September 21st, 2021. William Garson Pazamant was an actor who was in over 75 movies and more than 300 TV episodes. He was known for playing Stanford Blatch on the HBO series Sex and the City and in the related movies Sex and the City and Sex and the City 2. Mozzie in the USA Network series White Collar from 2009 to 2014, Ralph in the 2005 romantic comedy Little Manhattan, Gerald Hirsch in the reboot of Hawaii Five-O, Martin Moyd in the sci-fi series Stargate SG-1, and Riga in the Star Trek Voyager episode 30 Days. <music> Happy Birthday, David A. Kimball. Born February 20th, 1951. His guest starred on a number of TV shows including Hill Street Blues, Murphy Brown, Third Rock from the Sun, Beverly Hills 90210, L.A. Law, Picket Fences, 7th Heaven, JAG, ER, The West Wing, Babylon 5, Alias, Boston Legal, and he played Essek in the Star Trek Enterprise episode, Dear Doctor. His movie credits include a small role as a doctor in 1988's Clean and Sober, a minor supporting role in 1993's The Firm, 
and the 1992 TV movie Sinatra. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.